Welcome to our first January 24th webcast. I'm Savannah Williamson and I'll give you a preview of what you can expect to see tonight at 5. You've heard the protest against the proposed building of the downtown Walmart, but what about residents that may be for the retailer? Reporter Caitlin Bible spoke with residents and business owners about their opinions. Tune in later to find out why they support the construction. Georgia is one of the most unsafe places to bike in the nation. Reporter Leah Bravort will let us know what Athens plans to do to make you safer. Grady News Source reporter Bridget Anderson just finished an interview with an H&R Block representative. She now has the inside scoop on the 1040 EZ tax form and how to fill it out. She'll have more info for you coming up at 5. UGA's annual farm forecast warns of dry weather and rising supply prices. What does this mean for Georgia agriculture? News source reporter Brandon Burton is talking to a local feed supply company now about how this year's weather and economy will affect local farmers. Tune in at 5 to hear some of the interview. Eight Oconee County schools have received testing awards. Erica Allen talked with school administrators about the honors. Stay with us and find out which two Oconee schools got platinum awards at 5. <laughs> 